In this video, we're going to introduce a few tips and tricks to help you get even more out of playing Kid Icarus Uprising. Using continuous fire during air battles reduces your movement speed. Relying on charged shots and resisting the urge to fire constantly will make dodging easier. The standing continuous fire weapon modifier increases the power of continuous fire and can be very effective in air battles. The stronger your continuous fire, the easier it is to take out enemies that group together. Enemy shots that graze you while you are gliding and not attacking will be deflected. Gliding makes dodging shots easier, and narrowly avoiding shots will fill up your special gauge faster. As a basic strategy, it's best to try to keep your stylus on the center of the touchscreen. Remove it only when flicking quickly, then tap again to stop immediately. You can adjust the speed of your aiming reticle in the reticle camera section of the options menu. You might find that speeding up the reticle a bit and making it stop more slowly also makes it easier to control. Line up the reticle with an enemy, then dash left or right to perform a dash around. Remember that you have to keep your stylus held on the touch screen. The dash around move is extremely important. Draw an enemy's attack, then dash to dodge. Dodging forward will reduce your exposure to an attack, while dodging to the side will help you avoid attacks altogether. You can use buttons to activate powers and special attacks. In the options menu, you're able to assign actions to buttons that you can access easily during gameplay. Use the double item power to double the effects of foods you have. This is often more effective than using the health recovery mode. Using trade-off can be an effective way to overpower troublesome bosses. The invincibility and power-ups it provides can grant you a quick victory. Using the Celestial Firework power will make you invincible for slightly longer than one second. This will allow you to avoid enemy attacks more effectively than by dodging. Use powers such as Transparency and Playing Dead to go unnoticed. When in danger, disappear and take the opportunity to regroup. Some weapons deal more damage at close range, while others are stronger from a distance. Get to know your weapons in the practice range. Melee attacks are normally possible only when near an enemy, but when dashing forward, quickly press the circle pad back and attack to perform a dash attack regardless of the enemy position. While the game keeps track of the number of enemies you defeat, it doesn't record how many times you've been defeated. So relax and enjoy the game. Win or lose, if you play multiplayer, you're bound to earn weapons. However, you won't earn anything if you don't move. You'll get a red lock-on on an enemy when it's in firing range. Even enemies that appear out of range can sometimes be brought into range by dashing. In both land battles and multiplayer, downed enemies are harder to hurt. Instead of attacking recklessly, it's more effective to wait and charge your shots. Power up your shots with energy charge, then make them invisible. Attack while hiding for an even greater effect. 
The auto reticle and slip shot combination is well suited to stabs, helping to deal damage to faraway foes. In close quarters battles, the melee weapon plus virus combination can lower an opponent's maximum health and paralyze them to gain the upper hand. Powers such as Brief Invincibility, Super Armor, and Ares Armor can improve your effectiveness in melee battles. Use this combination as a way to deal damage against opponents coming in for melee attacks. With the trade-off and Pisces Heal combination, you can regenerate health after using trade-off. Just remember that the trade-off power will not be recovered after being defeated. Draw items toward you and get twice the benefit for collecting them. Items that have a set duration will last longer. Make up for a staff's weakness in melee battles by using powers such as super speed and warp to flee the scene. A quick glance at the bottom screen can tell you who's using what power. This can also be a useful strategy for stealing daybreak parts. When daybreak is nearing completion, use the power item pack. This tactic can help complete daybreak for your team or stop your opponents from doing so. The pillar of light that appears above enemies is especially big for angels. It's a good indication of where to aim the daybreak. The higher a weapon's value, the more powers you'll recover after being defeated. How easily powers are recovered also varies from power to power. Once you complete the game, you can change your home menu to feature a Viridi theme via the hidden options. The Goddess of Nature will also gladly accept your offerings. Leave the music gallery and the last song you were listening to will continue playing. You can, for example, fuse weapons while listening to your favorite jam. Indicate weapons you don't want to lose as your favorites by marking them with a star. This will help you from fusing them by accident, and they won't appear when converting weapons to hearts. Random conversations can occur during play after completing the game once. The monster situation is quite claimant. Is that a good thing? You know, it's unfortunate or unpropitious. Are you still speaking English right now? I'm sorry, Pit. I didn't mean to confuse you. Let me make this easier for you. Big monsters kill Pit! Grrr! Ah, that makes perfect sense. Thank you. The tips introduced in this video are just the tip of the iceberg. Experiment and play around to find more that work for you.